Today we are talking about one of my absolute all-time favorite saltwater fish and um, it may surprise you. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Salty Ali here and welcome to another episode of Ocean State Aquatic TV and today we are talking about saltwater and I know a lot of you salty people have been just waiting for some saltwater videos. I know Eli just did one on coral fragging yesterday and today we're going to talk fish. We're talking one of my absolute favorite saltwater fish and that is the ribbon eel aka the leaf nose eel. These guys are one of my absolute favorite fish. I think they're just so neat, they're so interesting. Let's break them down, let's talk about them a little bit and I'm going to show you guys what we have here. So the ribbon eel gets its name from its long slender ribbon like body and when they swim they actually swim like a ribbon like those uh, ribbon performers you may have seen. Uh, he's actually gonna come out right now. These guys are so so neat. They're one of my favorites because they have a really cool personality and they're just really neat to watch. First of all these guys are hermaphroditic so that means that they can switch from male to female. All ribbon eels are born males. They're born black with this yellow dorsal fin along their entire back and as they age they actually go through a transformation where they change into solid blue. Right now this guy is starting to get it on his face. You can see he's starting to change into a blue. Blue and black ribbon eels are often mistaken for two different animals, but they're actually the exact same. A black is just a juvenile male and then a, an adult male is blue. Once they are in their male stage for a period of time, they actually transition into a female where they turn solid yellow, like the color on their dorsal fin. They breed and then they pass away. This is kind of like how their life cycle works. So they stay males for 90% of their life until they're ready to breed and then they, uh, they breed and they, that's it, that's lights out. Ribbon eels can live as long as 20 years. So they are definitely a long-term commitment. These guys are extreme escape artists. So you have to make sure you have your tank locked up like Fort Knox because they will get out. They will find a way out. So you have to have your tank lid sealed even the tiniest little holes, these guys are very thin and small and they can squeeze into any little small area. So you just have to make sure that it is very heavily secured, just like any other eel. But because these guys are so small, they can fit through even the tiniest holes. So you're definitely gonna have a, uh, a really secure top on these guys. The biggest thing with ribbon eels is they are not a beginner fish. They are definitely a tough fish to keep. They are finicky eaters, especially when they first come in. It's been a little while um, getting him to try to eat. He does now eat little tiny pieces of mysis shrimp and krill, but it took a while. <laughs> it definitely took a while. So ribbon eels are a finicky fish. They're not easy. They also require a long aquarium. Ideally a six foot tank is ideal for these guys because they're not like other eels. They're not a fish that you're never gonna see. He's actually a very active fish. They come out quite often. They will kind of chill out and hide in their cave like how he is right now, but Occasionally throughout the day, they do like to come out and stretch and they'll swim across the tank and you'll actually get to see the full potential of these guys because they are so cool and you'll get to see the reason why they got their name Ribbon Eel. Because they are finicky fish, they do need clean water, so lower nitrates are definitely ideal for these guys. You want to keep it under 40 ppm at the highest, ideally around 20. They prefer a warm temperature around 78 degrees. They can handle uh, all the way up to about 80 degrees. Anything higher you may cause some stress and anything lower same as well. So you just want to make sure just like any other reef tank around 78 degrees is ideal for them. These guys are like I said finicky eaters so you just have to be on top of getting him to eat. It does take some effort you have to kind of offer a lot of different foods to get them to start eating. You know, even though he's eating here, when you get him home, he'll go through another transition period where now he's in a whole new environment and he has to kind of feel comfortable again. So it will take some time and every day just offering him food until you can get him to eat. So these guys are reef safe. So they're one of the few eels that are reef safe. So they will not eat your corals. They will not harm your clams or anything like that, but they will eat small shrimp and small fish. So even a fish you may think may not be small enough for him to eat, they will. I know this from experience. <laughs> um, I've had eat one eat a blue spotted jawfish. So it was an expensive lunch. So just keep that in mind. You know, you can keep them with tangs and other little bit larger fish. Just don't keep them with anything aggressive. I don't suggest keeping them with anything like puffers or triggers as these guys could pose a threat to him. These guys are delicate and fish may nibble at them because they have that trailing long tail. So as you can see here too, just like any other moray eel, these guys always have their mouth opening and closing. 
and it looks very menacing and scary and he looks really aggressive, but really what he's doing is breathing. <laughs> so unlike other fish that have operculums, they open and close to bring water over their gills. These guys don't have that. They actually just have little holes where the water is expelled. So they have to actually open their mouth to suck in water to go over their gills and then it's expelled out those little holes. So it looks mean and it looks maybe a little menacing, but these guys are uh, really, really neat fish. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV with me, Salty Alley, here at our Wakefield location. And definitely you guys gotta come in and check this guy out. Even if you don't have a saltwater tank or if you do and you just wanna see one and you've never gotten to, you definitely gotta come see him. He's so cool, super, super interesting. And uh, hopefully if you guys got a reef tank, a nice long reef tank and you want one, come on in and we'll talk about it. Thank you guys so much. And uh, you know what to do, keep it salty today, baby.